Hello, hi guys. So today in this video, let's prove that the function template is a compile time polymorphism. So let's begin. So for that one, what can we do is, so before understanding the template function is a compile time polymorphism, first we need to understand what is weak uh, symbols. What are weak symbols? So for that one, let me give some example. So suppose like you have some a function addition. So A and B and it returns a plus b so what if like if i copy this one and paste it here and let me try to call this addition function 10 comma 20 10 comma 10 and let me print the output c out backslash in so here can you see here like have a multiple definition so as you have already assumed that like uh, what is the uh, error are we getting so whenever we compile this one so here can you see there is something called redefinition of this declaration so that means like we are redefining this addition function in one more place so if i have the things which is like this in the same source code that is nothing but the same uh, compilation unit then we are getting this error so let me create one more file called test.cpp so what i'll do is I'll take out this one, I'll cut this and I'll paste it here. So then I'll come here. So then uh, what I can say is like uh, I'll try to compile both of this main.cpp and test.cpp, both the compilation units. So main.cpp and test.cpp. So once if I compile this one here, can you see? So here at the compilation stage itself, it has given an error. So saying a redefinition of this integer. So what I did is like I removed that add dot, uh, I removed this def definition of this addition and moved to test.cpp. So now what it is saying, it is like multiple definition of add is present. So that is what it is saying. So that means on the linker stage, it is getting an error. So earlier it was on the compilation stage and the next time it is on the linker stage. So in again, like if I want to prove that when it's on a linking stage, what I'll do is, so I'll say G++ and I'll say stop by generating object file. So let me compile. So it has generated a object file main.o. So again, like I'll compile test.cpp and generate object file. So here that is also compile file. So here I have two objects main.o and test.o. So what I'll do is I'll use this uh, nm command to see what is there in object file. So in main.o here, can you see have a addition definition here so this is called capital t capital t means it is present in the code segment or nothing but a text segment so now similarly if i do dmangle of test.o here also can you see so this is also in test segment so now if i try to compile both of these objects so test dot and main.o so this is on the linking stage so now since already object has been generated so the compilation everything is done only thing which is pending is a linking so maybe like let it be a dot out as itself as my output let me recompile so now if i compile so what happens is the compiler is trying to find out so by this one in this intervene this add is there so it is trying to link this definition so whenever it is trying to link this definition during the process of generating a dot out, it get confused whether I need to pick this one or should I need to pick this one. So then it get confused and it is trying to throw an error. So in order to avoid that one, what we can do is, so either on uh, one of this definition, go and add the attribute called ribut. So attribute weak. So now you do this one, again you go and compile both the source code, main.cpp and test.cpp. Can you see now? So it is compiled fine. So if I want to see what is happening inside this one, what I'll do is dmangle a dot out. When I do this one and scroll down here and you can see there is one thing called add dot add is present. So that is present in a text segment. What our compiler does is it has find out this addition which is in the test segment and uh, text segment and it also find in one more definition which is present in this uh, test.cpp since the attribute week has been added here 
so it has given a high priority for the text uh, text segment so the definition which is present in the text segment so then it has taken out that one it has taken that one so now again let me prove for you so let me compile text test.cpp and generate object file so generate the object file so now if i say nm nm test.o so can you see here something called a w capital w means it is a weak symbol and can you see there is no address for this one so this is a weak symbol this is called a weak symbol and similarly when i try to compile main.cpp and generate only the object file and whenever i try to type nm on this one and can you see here it is a text segment or it is in a code segment so the definition is present here so that is how it has given a high priority for this one so now you understood what is the difference between weak symbol and a strong symbol which is nothing but a actual definition so now let's move into the template so in the template like how how can we create a template for this one for that what we have to do is template type name t and what i'll do is i'll let it be this type name and this one make it as t this one also make it as t and this one also let's make it as t so now what i'll do is like uh, here i'll call the addition so like this it is not required uh, it is not a mandatory since like uh, this is this is known like the 10 and the 10 whatever we are passing both are of integer type so it automatically picks up as that integer now what i'll do is i'll go and compile this main.cpp enter so now if i execute this one it is saying the result whatever we are expected so if i go and type hyphen hyphen d mangle and a dot a dot out enter and if i scroll above and see addition where is this addition yeah yeah can you see here so there is a um, definition which has been generated there is a symbol which has been generated and it is a weak symbol this is capital w so that means during the templatization so what happens is during the compilation stage itself it will create a symbol or a definition which is re with respect to the integer type here we are given integer right so it has make this one as integer this one as integer so then it has generated this a plus b and the return type is also integer so this is happen on during the compilation stage itself and this is basically happening during the linking stage it generate this definition so again if i want to prove you that one so what i'll do is instead of 10 dot this one i'll give 10 dot 1 and 10 dot 2 so this is a floating point right so let me go and recompile this one recompile main.cpp and demangle again if i go and see this one can you see here there is two definition for this addition so one is which is taking double and another one which takes as integer so there is a two definition occurs here so that means the compiler or the, the compiler is writing a code for me so the compiler is doing all this job it's not the at the runtime it's not at the runtime it is at the compilation time so even i did not even executed the code right so during the execution time what happens is it will go and look for this definition okay this 10 and 10 is an integer and it will go and call the function so which has been automatically generated using this declaration and it is a weak pointer and, and it's not a weak pointer it's a weak symbol so i had already shown you what is that weak symbol right so now what if if i want to generate something for my own uh, say own object so let's say point so let me create some definition for this one so point takes two integer so this is what some definition and given for this object so now let me try to create for my point so here i want to pass a point object right so let me create a point so then let's call this one like initialize with this one as 10 and 20 and here also let me do 10 comma 20 but here i am getting a compilation error because i need to specify it it does not know like what exactly this object right so because in a c++ uh, 11 onwards so directly you can create an instance of object something like this so here i have to give something called like this point but still there is a problem so it is saying like 
it's i does not know like how to print this one into cout so for that what we have to do is we need to override override an operator so then this one is done so if i try to compile this one what happens is g plus plus main dot cpp so here there is no uh, function which matches this plus so that means object i i need to add two objects right but it does not know like how to add this two function so for that what we have to do is let me override the operator plus so this is what i am doing i am adding both the x's and both the y's and i am returning this one now let's go and recompile this one so now can you see everything is compiled fine so now if i go and try to demangle this one try to see the symbol table and can you see here so again one more definition for this addition is being generated so that means during the compilation stage itself all these things are happening so by this one it is confirmed that the template function function template is at a compile time polymorphism so at the compile time itself it is trying to identify and link the de particular definition with the particular call so this is what the compilation polymorphism compile time polymorphic behavior so if i try to execute the output let me see head out, out so can you see 20 and 40 has been printing here so this proves that our uh, function template is a compile time polymorphism so hope you like this video so if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you